Hello, this is Akansha. In this today's video, we are going to learn one of the reagent from the organic chemistry that is a TPAP reagent. This reagent is quite important reagent in organic chemistry. In various reactions, this reagent is asked in any step. So, it is quite essential to know about the role of this reagent. Neither we will unable to solve the question over there. So, let us have a look how this reagent work and how it work as an oxidizing reagent so this reagent is named as tetrapropyl ammonium perrudinate that is tpap tetrapropyl ammonium perrudinate okay sometimes this reagent is named after its discoverer that is legrift reagent this is a legrift reagent many times yeah, if uh, if the question will be asked that a uh, name which of the following is a Legrif reagent that is a tetrapropyl ammonium perrudinate reagent okay now what is the structure of this reagent so let us have a look about the structure of this reagent so this tpap reagent that is tetrapropyl ammonium perrudinate reagent is present in the form of the salt you can see over here this is a tetrapropyl ammonium and this is a perrudinate ion here the cationic form is formed by the tetrapropyl ammonium and this is a ruthenium which is uh, perruthenate which form the anionic part of the salt okay now let us have a look towards the work of this reagent how this reagent work what is the work uh, role of this reagent as i told you this is a oxidizing reagent this is a air stable oxidizing reagent for primary and secondary alcohol it is a mild oxidizing agent the basic role is to convert the primary alcohol to aldehyde and the secondary alcohol to ketone that is it do the oxidation of the primary alcohol to aldehyde and the secondary alcohol to ketone it is used see over here the last point is given that is it is used along with the co-oxidant that is an NMO this is a basic thing which are given that uh, regarding the work of this reagent so now we will move towards the mechanism of this reagent okay you can see over here that this is the primary alcohol okay this is the primary alcohol on the presence of this reagent in in this reagent the ruthenium which is present that is initially is in the plus 6 oxidation state and here you can see uh, after the conversion of the primary alcohol to aldehyde the ruthenium is get converted into plus 4 oxidation state it means that the reagent itself it, it is getting reduced and it is oxidizing the uh, it is oxidizing our alcohol that is in this alcohol you can see over here the carbon is present in the minus 1 oxidation state after the use of this reagent it get converted into plus 1 that is here the oxidation is occurring while the reagent is get itself reduced and it is oxidizing the another that is th that is a oxidizing reagent after the uh, after this uh, all process this reagent need to regenerate so for a uh, for this a co-oxidant is used over here that is an NMO that is after the oxidation of to the of the primary alcohol to the aldehyde this ruthenium um, needs to convert into the plus 6 oxidation state again for that this ruthenium which is initially present in the plus 6 oxidation state is obtained by using the co-oxidant that is an NMO okay this is an nmo structure uh, after the, after the use of this co-oxidant the ruthenium which is which was initially present in the plus 6 oxidation state is get uh, regenerated and then it can again use uh, to so now let us have a look towards the example regarding this reagent so in the first example you can see here the primary alcohol is given okay the we, we have already seen the role of this TPAP reagent. Uh, this TPAP re reagent is an oxidizing reagent. It will convert this primary alcohol to the aldehyde. Just that's it. Another functional group will remain intact over there. There is a no uh, role of this reagent on this epoxide or anything. Just the product will be this. Okay. It, it is a quite simple reaction. Now moving towards the next example. You can see over here. This is a next example that is here again the primary alcoholic group is given along with the reagent that is a TPAP that will get convert to the aldehyde now moving towards the next example okay this is a quite interesting example 
uh, here the two name uh, one name reaction and one reagent is get involved as i already told this uh, many times this reagent is asked in the multi step reaction okay in the first step the tpap is given and here you can see over here the ester uh, th there is a no role of the oxidation of the esters and etc so here this is the primary alcoholic group this primary alcoholic group will get converted to the aldehyde once it get converted to the aldehyde now second step it is quite interesting and uh, and this is a wittig reaction as we already know that this is a wittig reaction what will happen over here this uh, this uh, pph3 and this oxygen will be removed and uh, uh, every, every group will be attached over there this is a wittig reaction and we will get this product now moving towards the next example this is this is a quite interesting example uh, taken from the book Carothers. So here you can see he, um, that the TPAP and MO and very big kind of the molecule is given. If we don't know the role of this reagent, we will unable to solve this example. This is uh, this example is quite easier example. We, I must say over here. Just here you can see here the primary alcohol is get given that basically get converted to the aldehyde and this is the product another all the functional group will remain intact and as it is um, it will not affected by any so this were some examples uh, by the use of this reagent how we can do the oxidation and i think the examples were quite easier so after learning this um, i assured you you are able to solve the any examples regarding this reagent so if you like the re, uh, the content whatever i have shared with you don't forget to like and share the, this video thanks for watching this